Coming up from ruthless to selfless, how you can create success through a culture of selfless service. My next guest used to be a ruthless commercial real estate broker, lying, stealing, you name it, until he really had enough and found his way onto a path of reinvention. Jonathan Kaiser is one of the nation's most successful commercial real estate brokers and author of the new book, You Don't Have to Be Ruthless to Win. I'm so glad to have you here. Thanks for having and me. And I guess uh, there, Faison Love's going to be uh, amazing. reading your book now, too. You are so honest and authentic in this book. Who, who is the old Jonathan Kaiser? Sure, so I used to be ruthless. I thought that's what it took to be successful in a ruthless industry. I wasn't raised that way. I was actually raised by Christian missionary parents in Papua New Guinea, of oh, wow. all places. And they taught me to love and serve, but I was poor and I hated being poor. So I got into commercial real estate because I wanted to be rich. <laughs> and as soon as I got in, I realized, wow, this is a ruthless industry. Yeah. So I became ruthless. But I was miserable. I was misaligned with my core values and I hated who I was becoming. And then money one, didn't bring happiness. Money does not bring happiness. And then one day I go to this conference and the speaker gets up and he starts talking about a different way of doing business. And it moved and inspired me, a way of doing business by helping other people. Mm. And so I transformed myself around that methodology about 15 years ago. And now I've built the largest firm of our kind in Arizona, one of the fastest growing in the country. We're going to redefine and reinvent and reimagine commercial real estate without being ruthless, demonstrating that even in one of the most cutthroat industries in the world, mm -hmm. you can succeed by helping others succeed. And so that's all we do is help as many people as possible and it comes back to us. So the good guy does finish first. Good guys can win. <laughs> so this and within your company, this culture of giving mm -hmm. and yes. service, what did you when you kind of started implementing that, what was the change you saw amongst your employees? Well, it was very, I had, the, I had the distinct honor of being able to build the company from the ground up. So when I started this firm, I started it saying, we're gonna change the business world mm -hmm. through selfless service. Okay. And so I only hired people that care. Right. You know, the biggest difference between our firm and other firms is inside the firm, we all help each other. Normally in a commercial real estate firm, it's very combative. Everybody's scratching, clawing, and fighting. Within our firm, within Kaiser, we serve each other. And then with our clients, we serve them above and beyond. We serve the community. And so everything is about, rather than selling, mm -hmm. we try to serve and we try to help. And we try to find needs that other people have and deliver on those. I feel like you always hear the, what you put out into the world mm -hmm. and what you put out into the universe is gonna come back to you mm -hmm. tenfold. And you've experienced that. Yes. So how do we incorporate this in our lives? Mm -hmm. Well, that's the point of the book, right? I took all of my lessons that I've learned trial and error, right. developing now this, this next generation of real estate firm, and I've put it in a book so that anybody can implement it. This book's not about real estate. This book is about how a business leader or a group of business leaders mm. can create a culture of selfless service so that they could have more success. What I'm connecting for people is success with service. We all know how to do the right thing. Right. We all know to love. We do it in our home lives. But then somehow we forget all that when we get into business and we think we gotta go fight, fight, fight. And so my philosophy is it's integrated. You do the same thing at home as you do at the office. And I believe you can create extraordinary success doing so, which is why I wrote this book to tell others about it. And congrats to you. It's number one in Wall Street Journal. It's Thank your you. first book ever. Um, I think because you know we're in a time where we see a lot of this fighting, a lot yeah. of this ruthlessness, and, and people are starting to feel unhappy with yes. that and unhappy with maybe even how they're acting. Mm -hmm. So you kind of have three steps That's right. uh, to reinvention. What are those? And my, I believe, like you just said, that people are miserable. Yeah. I don't think people really want to be behave this way, but I think they feel trapped like mm -hmm. I used to. I feel like that's what they have to do. That's exactly right. So we started the Kaiser Institute to train, empower, and ultimately certify the next generation of selfless leader. And we have a reinvention process that we call from the inside out. Okay. So like Gandhi says, you gotta be the change you wanna see in the world. Yep. So be it first, self, then create a company culture of it. And then as my good friend, John Mackey, who started the Conscious Capitalism Movement, talks about the external stakeholders. It's not okay. just your clients, it's everybody. It's your vendors. It's the mm. other people in the community that, that, that are your partners, right? So it's really looking at this, how do you create a selfless culture from the inside out? But the whole point is, not to do it just because it's the right thing to do and you feel better, which all those are true, but you can actually create extraordinary financial success by doing it. And my dream 
is a world where people selflessly help each other regardless of personal gain, understanding right. that it's in their own personal best interest to do so. Thank you for bringing this to us and, and being so open and authentic mm. about who you were mm. and now the change that you're looking to make in the world. Uh, where can we find your book? Ruthlessbook.com. It's also on Amazon. Congrats again on Enjoy. number one. You don't have to be ruthless to win, people. We'll be back with more right after this.